Hey, it's Kami. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. Today begins a new journey, a journey that I hope you will enjoy and encourage others to join. I've started. I have decided to start making content with my favorite subject, which is music. That is right. I love music because I can feel emotions, but you can't explain them. But music will give you those emotions that you want on cue. So this new series is a review series of music that instead of choosing random CDs, I am going to choose the band and review the whole catalog of music. There will be an introductory episode, which this is, and then an episode for each release from the band. Each release will get a number review, and when you are when we are done, we will re- have a review episode where I will go over the band's career and show their albums from worst to best and overall score for the band's entire catalog. Also, in each episode where I write, where I review an album, I will take a band member and mention his other bands and works and maybe, and maybe even give a quick review of their other works. So with that said, what is the first band I am going to start this series review on? Yes. No, not who. Yes. The band Yes. This is the story of how Yes became my favorite band when I was 11 years old and now over three decades later why they are still my favorite band. I grew up in a family that is musical. My dad played clarinet in the band. My flute my mother played my flute played mother my mother played flute and orchestra and in the band Uh, my oldest brother played violin in the boston pop my oldest sister played acoustic guitar and sang and my next sister is cello in the cincinnati pops most of the music that was listened to was classical as a matter of fact i did not listen to anything other than classical until the summer of 1983 when i was 11 years old I began listening to an old radio as I went to sleep and could only get rock and roll. After getting to know all the songs on the radio at the time, I heard a new song, Owner of Lonely Heart, from Yes. Then I heard It Can Happen, and I immediately had my parents bring me next time they went to the mall so I could buy myself a copy of 90125 from Yes. I listened to it nonstop for a while and loved everything about it. Ate it up. I was like a sponge soaking up everything there was to know about the album. I know now why I loved it so much more than the music that was normally being played on the radio. Every instrument was playing melodies. A lot of times music on the radio is all about chords and beats and not melodies. Classical music, the music I grew up with and love was all about the melodies. So this music I was very comfortable with. If you listen to Yes music, even if you listen to the drummer, which is supposed to be the beat man, you can hear that he's actually playing melodies instead of beats. It's very melodic. Everything is melody driven instead of the bass player holding the root of the chord. He's doing a melody on the bass that counteracts the melody on the guitar, which counteracts the melody on the keyboards and so forth and so forth. And it makes this whole melodic mess of love that I tend to like a lot. Instead of the beating music that everybody likes to listen to with the beat, I like the melodies. Then my brain was blown away. My brother told me that the band had been around forever and I had an old album and he had an old album of theirs that I could borrow if I treated it with care. He couldn't fetch it fast enough for me. He showed me how to record the album to tape, but I put it on a single 90 minute tape. The album was called Yes Songs. It was a live album from 1972 and no, the sound was horrible on it. The music was unbelievable. The album artwork had me staring at it and losing myself in fantasy worlds created by both the music and the art album. And behind me, uh, you see some of the um, artwork now. That, that with the moose and not not this, uh, no, not that. But with the moose and the trees and the other trees, the other moose and the, the squigglies because I don't have enough light. Um, it's all from my favorite Yes album or the one that had gotten me into it. The album started with Firebird's Sweet from Stravinsky played exclusively through the PA system. The actual song 
the actual classical bass, and that was instantly recognized by me. Slowly, the band started improvising over the classical song, and then began Siberian Kachu. I had never heard music like this at all. It was the rock and roll meets classical music that I like so much. The perfect match for me. So that is why I'm going to start with my favorite band of Yes. We are going to start from their oldest albums to their newest releases, rating them all and giving the high points away on the albums. This, These will be released once a week on YouTube and in blog form on Wednesdays. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be reviewing, starting with the band Yes, all their music from their oldest album to their newest album. I'm going to exclude live albums and compilations because there's really not much news and material on live albums and compilations but i will give a have a on a band with more music like yes does have i will have an episode where i'll go over all the live albums and compilations and tell you where to start with those if you're interested in getting some music from this band but once a week on Wednesday, you will see this video of me reviewing a Yes album and giving it a number. And at the end of the time, when I'm done with all their albums, we will um, go over the numbers for each album and put the albums in worst to best order. And you can yell at me for disagreeing with my ordering of <laughs> what I think the um, Yes music should be listened to in. I hope um, that this will help me out with the burnout because I'm working with music, music I love um, while I'm doing my other two jobs and I'm hoping that you guys, this ain't niche enough so I don't alienate a lot of my following because um, this is a little step in a, a different direction than I normally go. And as you can tell, I was reading most of this because now I'm staring at you, the camera, before I was basically reading what I'm going to be putting up on um blogger or wherever i end up putting up this blogs for these because these will be readable as long as, as long as they will have the video so thank you for watching uh keep an eye open for this and i will see you next week with the very first review of the song the album called yes when they were told that they were going to be the most successful band outside of Led Zeppelin in 1968. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.